If you want a guide that will help you to open your eBay account from A to Z, this is the video for you. The complete and the ultimate guide how to open eBay account for dropshippers from scratch. Ultimate guide just for you. Let's start. If you ever wanted to open your eBay account, the ultimate setup in 2022, this video is for you. If you don't know, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm Daniel, I'm the CEO and the co-founder of Caldrop, and I also have seven years experience as eBay dropshipper. And in this video tutorial, I would like to cover, and I would like to show you exactly how to open new eBay account from scratch. So let's understand together how to set up an eBay account for dropshippers in 2022. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe our channel for more videos and more tutorials, and click that like button to keep Caldrop team motivated and help us record you more free content that works gold. This guide will help you to avoid eBay suspension, fair suspension, eBay MC011, even, everything that you need to know how to open eBay account. Today in 2022, opening a new eBay account from scratch is much more harder than last year. And because of that, I decided to record a video to help you to set up an eBay account from scratch that will help you to create more eBay account, produce more sales, and do more profit each month. If you already know how to open eBay account, make sure to stay until the end of the video because I promise you that you will find out many of things that you never knew about how to set up an eBay account for your dropshipping business. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to eBay.com and click register. The process of registration is really easy and really simple. You need to fill out your first name, last name, email, and password. Super important tip, never open business account. When you open business account, you increase your chances for getting suspension. So let's fill out our name. And let's put just email. Of course, you will put your email. And let's create the password. and I created the account. Really easy steps, super easy. If you already have an eBay account, so we are on the same process right now for setting up our new eBay account. Before I will start showing you exactly what is the process in technical things to do, I want to talk in general. After we open a new eBay account, first we need to warm up the eBay account. Again, warm up the eBay account. And I'll explain what I mean by that. You will need to surf on eBay from time to time, each day about 30 minutes, 20 minutes, buy a few stuff, it doesn't matter what is the price, just make sure it's not an auction, it's buy now. Buy a, lo a lot of things to show eBay that you are a trust person, it will help us to make eBay trustworthy. After we surf on eBay about, let's say, one week to two weeks, bought few things, we will set up eBay policy. After we set up eBay policy, we will create a logo or banner, it's not that important steps about creating logo and banner, but it can help you in the future. Then we need to verify our phone number and email. After we verified our phone number and email, I will upload three different products to my eBay store. One each day. One will be with quantity three, the second quantity three, and the third quantity four. Why is that? Because I want to reach eBay selling limit, which most of the time for new seller are 10 quantities, so you can't list more than 10. Pay attention that when you listing items is one every day, so it means three days, three products, and you list items from your home. For example, some precious item, you can list patches of uh, stickers, anything that you may have. Don't list scissors or pen or AC remotes, okay? Because it not looks very trustworthy to eBay. You are listing items, but you don't want to sell them. So for example, if I want to sell this remote and it's worth $20, I will list it at $40, $50 because I don't want that I will have actually purchases and then I will need to go to the post and etc. After we reach 10 limits, day after I upload the third product. So if it was on Sunday, third product on Monday, I'm reaching eBay customer service to increase my limits. If you don't know how to increase your limits on eBay, make sure to write me in the comments below and I will make a tutorial for it, especially for you guys. My pleasure is to help you be better dropshipper. After we increase our selling limits, a day after, 
that I increase my seller limits, I removing all of my products, wait two days and then start drop shipping and of course drop shipping with card drop. After we understood everything, let me show you step by step. So at the start, I would like to search for a few things. It doesn't really matter what you are searching for. It's just really important to not waste a lot of your money. So for, I will go with kitchen with right now and I will always put instead of best match in the filter, price shipping lowest first okay then all i need to do is to click for a few items each day let's say three to ten and add them to the cart of course go with the most cheapest option because it doesn't matter which option i'm choosing an important tip for you important tip that can save you money after you add it to cart okay he asked me for go to checkout let's fill out a little information here Go to checkout. Let's see if it worked. Amazing. Let me go one step back because he wanted me to add information. So, okay, I just added. So this is the last one. So as you can see right now, I have seller name and then product. Seller name, product. Seller name, product. If I have two sellers, sorry. No. Remove that if I have. If I have one seller, and underneath two or more products, I would like to remove the products. Let's do a quick test. So for example, I see the seller sells this as well, add to cart. Now, as you can see, I have one seller, two products, and I want to remove it. And why is that? Because each seller can leave you one feedback, one positive feedback at 30 days. So it means that if I would buy 10 items from one seller, I will get only positive feedback. After you purchase, you will see on your purchase history if the seller gives you a positive feedback or not. If they didn't give you, just contact them in the message. So that is what you are doing on the first week. You want to change positive feedbacks from the seller. That's why we are purchasing few items. After we did that, all we need to do is go to account settings, personal information. He wants my name my password, let's do the password. After we reach these steps, what you need to do, you need to confirm and verify your phone number and your email. So as you can see, the email is already exactly verified and the phone number is not verified. So what you need to do, you need to click verify and then eBay will send you a message and then you will need to verify. Make sure that your email and phone number are verified first of all. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to search on Google Biz Policy eBay and then enter eBay Policy, as you can see, Business Policies of eBay. And I will click on Opt In, as you can see right now. This action led us to create business policies. So let's click Get Started. And then you will get a loading screen of all of the policy. If you didn't get the screen or you got any error, just exit do refresh and then go back to opt-in okay very easy very simple now we need to create policy and we have the options to create two policies that we need to create one is return and the other is shipping so you can name the policy return here you can give a description if you have a few policy if you have like, let's say two five policies or you want to get a description i will set it up as the default because I will have only one policy. Now, domestic returns and international returns. Domestic returns are returns for USA and international is the rest of the world. I always like to work with 60 days because the differences between 30 days and 60 days is that when you increase your returns days rate, so eBay will increase your traffic and the volume because they are more trustworthy. But if you want to put 14 or 30, that's also okay. I will go with 60. Return shipping will be paid by, if you select seller, so it's free returns, eBay will increase your traffic, but here I will like go with buyer because I'm not going to pay for the returns. It's not a problem for me to replacement or exchange available if needed, as well for international, the same setup, and I'm clicking save. Very easy, very simple. Now, here is the shipping. Because you are starting selling products from your home, exactly so you will need to create a shipping to your country 
I will show shipping that most likely will be for worldwide. It doesn't matter if you are in Morocco or if you are in Algeria, USA, Sri Lanka, United Kingdom, okay? Every country possible. So let's call it shipping. Let's set it default. Uh, flat same cost to all buyers, calculated freight, no shipping, local pickup only. Uh, flat is same shipping for all. Uh, calculated is per the country. Freight is if it's very heavy, but let's go with flat. I'm not going to mix your brain up. Free shipping. And here you need to check. Let's see. Economy shipping. Let's see what we have. Standard service. Yeah. Standard shipping. Yeah, let's go with it. Standard shipping one to five days. Okay. Even you we are not going to send our item. We are not going to sell the item. Handling time, let's do one day. International shipping, flight same cost to all buyers. Ship to worldwide. And then standard international shipping. This policy will be for all of your country. Now, if you want to start drop shipping from China, so the policy change for handling time three to five. And we are searching for economy shipping for outside US 11 to 23 business days. Don't worry, it says about two months to two months and a half. And with worldwide, we are going with economy shipping. Yeah, economy shipping from greater China to worldwide. This is the policy for when you're doing dropshipping from AliExpress. Of course, this is my policy when I work in. You can improve the policy, you can change the policy, but it's your own result, your own problem. Because in this policy, I just recommend you what I'm working with. But please choose by your own. And the last thing that you need to do is exclusion list. I'm not going to over it one by one, but I highly recommend to exclude Africa, Asia, North America and South America. If you want me to make a video and go deep, each one exactly why I I'm doing it. Also, Alexa, why use protectors, APO, FPO, and Obox. No, without Obox, sorry. If you want me to make a video exactly about the exclusion list, please write in the comment down below and make sure to smash that like button. So after we did that, everything I need to save, and then I'm all set up. I have an already some feedbacks. I sell on eBay to make myself as a real person, it's trustworthy. Now I want to, if I want to add a logo or my profile, so here I can enter a logo, a little bit of description, a cover, it will save my time. But you don't need to do that. You are not must do that. If you want, it only can benefit. Now what you need to do, you need to upload the product from your home. I will show it really quick. I don't want to stack on into that. So for example, let's say this is not products from home, but let's, let's go with this because it will just have the time in the video. So you need to upload the product from home manually, of course, because it's from your home. No software can do that. After you finish, you will click list item. And then what will happen? eBay will ask you to connect Pioneer. Uh, let's see payment policy. I already connected Pioneer. Let's uh, do create. Let's see what they want. Yeah, let's do an also payment. I forgot about it. Same and close. I just call it PayPal because I'm used to it, but it's not PayPal. It's working with Pioneer Manage Payments. I just get to use PayPal. Let's click list item. And then I will give a notification to connect my Pioneer account to do this process. As you can see, problem with the listing and then it transfers to seller manage payment. Now, after I click get started, I'm doing all the process. I'm not going to explain about it because we already make a process of it as usual. You can check it by our YouTube channel. But right now, that's what you're doing. After you did that, you need to wait about one week to two weeks to Pioneer approve you. Once Pioneer approved you, you can start upload your product. And that's how you set up a new eBay account properly in 2022. Ultimate eBay guide that will help you create new eBay accounts without getting any suspension or any block by eBay. Thank you very much for watching this video. It was a pleasure to have you here. If you Please can press that like button and subscribe down to our channel for more YouTube videos and more content about dropshipping. It will help us a lot. Please share this video for as much as possible to help us reach new dropshipper. We want to help everyone in the community. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.